Hi everybody, this is Hutch from Better Music. And Bob. Um, we're here today to talk about the new Spider 5 by Line 6. Uh, the Spider 5 is obviously the next uh, in the Spider series from Line 6. Uh, obviously the Spider 4 was the one beforehand, uh, which I think a lot of us will know A lot of, of us remember it, yeah. They, they, um, they were kind of like the, I guess, the, the Spider 15s and Spider 30s were really competitive against the, the Roland Cubes. Um, as far as like bedroom blasters and practice amps, so this is probably the next evolution in, in I guess bedroom amps and um, and amps for teaching as well. All right, so the new Spider Five comes in a four different sizes. Comes in the thirty, the sixty, the one twenty, and a two hundred and forty watt version. Um, now there's tons and tons of features in this thing. Uh, to vaguely just go over the huge amount of things you can do with this, um, it's got something like what seventy eight amp models. 23 cabinet models, 101 effects models, and I think there's something like 128 onboard uh, presets straight off the bat in this thing. So they're everything from like sounds that Line 6 have created themselves all the way through to like, I guess, artist inspired sets. So it, it's uh, along the lines of, uh, I guess, you know, Line 6 in, you know, in previous models have put, you know, the influence of the song or the, the, the tone in the sound. So for example, you know, you go to something like um, fortunate Son, obviously that's going to sound like your Creedence Clearwater Revival sort of sound. So it's it's really, really helpful if you if you are learning, and you know that's what this amp's for, it's a, it's a practice amp and it's for, for students and whatnot. If you are learning, it gives you a really, really good insight into, like, I guess an easier way to find the tone you're after. <laughs> Couple of other things that the Spider 5 has is that we've got a tap tempo slash tuner. Uh, it's compatible with the uh, Line 6 foot controller, the FBV pedal. Um, it also has a 60 second looper, which is great for um, practice or jamming, writing songs. And we've also got a lot of, uh, it's also got USB connectivity, which means you can uh, connect to your computer or whatever tablet you've got um, or your smartphone uh, so you can record on the go or anywhere you are. Uh, and another thing that this has that is a, a big thing for me is that it's got a built-in wireless system that you might have seen uh, Bob demonstrating at the start of this video, <laughs> which is surprisingly awesome for practice. It's not just a, a live thing, which is the first thing I thought of, but as soon as you kind of use these things for, for practice at home, um, I actually think wireless is better for practice at home than it is live. It's yeah. amazing. It's incredibly convenient. There's no cables to trip over. No cables for babies to chew on. That's that right. Sort of stuff. And I can it's... also get up and make a Milo while practicing my legato. <laughs> Milo legato. <laughs> So I mentioned before that uh, it has USB connectivity. So we have our iPad connected to the Spider 5 here, um, working with the Line 6 Spider app. Now, it has a bunch of preset tones in here uh, to just start us off. So uh, Bob is what I think he would refer to as a riff sponge, <laughs> and he knows pretty much every song ever. So I'm just gonna test him on that. The first one I'll, I'll throw at you, Bob. We'll go Surfing Alien, so I'm assuming that's referring to Surfing with the Alien by Joe Satriani, so can you do that, mate? <sighs> he wins this round. Okay, we'll try another one. Um, I'm assuming this is called Paranoid Android, so uh, Radiohead Paranoid Android. Let's see this. Okay, it's... That riff. That's the bit every yeah. time. <laughs> I love that Bob riff. wins again. <laughs> okay, so this one's called Thunder Horse. I'm assuming that it have to be thunderstruck, right? So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you know that it's, one. It's you one know? of the most played riffs in uh, in the store. Well, let's see if Bob can do it. Oh, pressure's on. 
One of the other things we did just um, before we started the video is I went through and made a couple of sounds. Um, the first one you heard when I was walking in was a, just like a, an old school sort of country sound that I made. Um, the sound itself I used, we, we were talking about the amp models and the, and the cabinets and things before. I used um, uh, an old, like I guess their Baseman 59, like the, the Nana of all amps. 58 actually. Oh, it's a 58, but they call, they call it a 50. It's a 59, we know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, based on that, that old 4x10 Fender sound, um, a bit of compression, a bit of spring reverb, and um, a little bit of slapback analog delay. And it was that, that classic sort of... classic sort of I guess that that vintage country sound which is you know a sound that's very near and dear to my heart I love that tone so um well done line six so the other sound that I found guys I, I, I made a, a heavy sound a lot of people want to know how the how the higher gain stuff works so using the interface I managed to, to sort of seek out and find um an original 5150 sort of sound so it's that high gain that modern American sort of sound coupled that with a greenback cab for a bit of extra crunch uh, found a tube screamer pedal in there and a noise gate to tighten it all up and um, yeah, it sounds pretty cool. I, I kind of like it. So have a listen. So nice and crunchy. Lots of grit. So the cool thing about the amp is, I guess what we've demonstrated is the really clean sounds that it can do all the way up through to that heavier sort of stuff. So it caters for everybody, which again, you know, when you're practicing at home, that sort of thing is, is what you want. You want to be able to, you know, to, to oh, you know, what I'm inspired, I want to play an ACDC song, the tones there. I want to play uh, Santana, the tones there, you know, that sort of thing. That That's kind of what they're aiming for. So as I mentioned before, the uh, Spotify 5 has 60 seconds worth of looping on board, um, so I'll just let Bob demonstrate that. Another thing that this amp has is that it has 19 real drum loops uh, that were actually recorded by real drummers. Um, so it's good to get some metronome working with that without being bored to death. It also helps writing songs. So um, Bob was playing along with a little drum loop before um, and it sounds pretty 90s to me. So let's get our 90s on Hard and have 90s. a listen to this. Hard 90s. So the Spotify, as you can see, has got a lot of options. Uh, we've only kind of like just touched the surface of all the different things that you can do with this. Um, it's great for practice. Um, it's even would be really great for a uh, kind of teaching perspective. As a teacher, you know, you, you, you're asked a lot of your students, you know, they will ask you, you know, a one, one will say, I want to play Slipknot, another one will say, I want to play Led Zeppelin, you know, and there's a lot of tone, a lot of difference in tone. With something like this, you're able to get that tone in an instant and you can tweak it you know all with the uh with the the ipad and with the app it's really easy to use so being able to tweak those tones on the fly is a really handy thing too so um line six yep you've done all right well thanks for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it uh if you've got any questions or comments leave those in the comments section below and this is hutch and bob signing out <laughs>